Hey there, YouTube. It's Math Boy. Welcome to this recap of just YouTubers being awesome. I have three pieces of friend mail, three care packages. This is in no particular order. Uh, this first one on top is from Larry, the media marauder. I opened these up just to see what was going on here. So, yeah, let's see what we got from Larry, the media marauder. Larry, all links to everyone's channels will be in the uh, description below. But um, okay, Mike Bilecki, all right. But yeah, uh, my, he does an amazing job. He sends out more TTM requests than anyone else that I know. When he can, he does hundred requests a week. So we got Mike Bilecki. Oh. Uh, that's an autograph. Thanks, Larry. <laughs> Merry Christmas, a little late, your friend. Ah, oh, come on, man. I sent him um, four or five cards for his collection, saying I don't want anything in return. And he said he needed all, all he thought he needed all of them for his sets. He's working on every set from 52 to 95, which is, you know, he, he'll never complete it, but he just wants to get as many as he can. That's understandable. Oh my gosh, we have Harvey Haddix. That actually looks better on camera than it does in person. The, the the white picks up a lot brighter on camera than it does in person. Oh my gosh. Dude. Yeah, Harvey Haddix was a member of the 69 Pirates. Or 60. 1960 Pirates. The 69 was the Mets. Wow. Um, pitched 12 perfect innings and it didn't work out so well. For, wow. And Jay Bell, gold glove winner for the Pirates. That's a nice signature. You sent out to him TTM now. It doesn't look that nice. And the mic by like, dude, thank you, Larry. You did not have to do that. But I'm definitely glad that you did that. Really cool. Feel free to check him out. He's always buying cards, too, and sending out lots of TTMs. And he does sell a lot on eBay, and will do his what sold videos. Um, this next one is coming from... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is coming from V. McMahon out of Stanford, Connecticut. We got Vincent Kennedy McMahon. This is from Tony Black. I <laughs> oh, gosh. That's funny. And I know it's from Tony Black because it was addressed to, you know, 300 Bowler. It had my name instead of... <laughs> it had that. Here it is again. Hey, 300 Bowler, I might be taking a big risk by putting the WWE address on the return side. <laughs> I should have RTS'd it. <laughs> I hope these cards get to you and don't end up in Vince McMahon's desk. Though it might be a cool story if they did, Tony. Hey, I got an autograph there, too. Um, oh, dang. So he sent me a text asking if I wanted a couple of particular cards. And the one I, yeah, it was this one right here. So I thought I had it, but I couldn't quite say if... I, I can't remember the story. I think I said I had it, but it looks so pretty. How could I say no? And that 1960 year, there wasn't the World Series. That's a cool card. And we have Dick Schofield here. Ducky, I believe, was the nickname. Not that anyone around here ever really seems to call him that. But yeah, there he is on the 50. Oh, 55 and 56 can be tricky, but I'm pretty sure it's a 55. If I'm wrong, that's okay. My knowledge of the 50s sets are not super, super knowledgeable, but 55 and 56 always throws me off. Uh, oh, we got a joke! What happens if a coast... Oh, it's not a joke. Oh my gosh. Dagnabbit. Math bowler. What happens <laughs> for some reason? Okay. What happens if a coach assists the base runner? The runner is out. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, thank you very much. I actually got a little care package that, you know, I want to send to you. And you actually just texted me your new address. So, um, yeah. Now, this one. Project 88 TTM. Mark, one really nice guy. And, um. Mark commented on one of my videos that all of his videos have been, they're gone, which really stinks. Oh, my goodness. Nice guy. He's been working on the 1988 Topps sign set, and, uh, you know, I sent him some cards, and 
you know, then out of the blue, he sends me something, which is so nice of him. And we got some pirates. Diego Castillo and some Topps Heritage there. Yep, yep. And, uh, oh, we got a Kutch on the back. Well, and I definitely got to go like this then. Save that beauty for the end. Oh, it's so nice to have McCutcheon back on the team. He may He's definitely not what he used to be playing-wise, but these players need some legit coaching. <laughs> and it's not really coming from their coaches very well. Diego Castillo, rookie. We got the... Ah, very good, very good. Hope he ends up doing well. Zoe Contreras. Michael Chavis. There's Hoy Park. You know, some of these guys need him on the team, A-Roar. Rodolfo Castro, his first five hits were home runs. Yeah, that that's awesome. Jose Quintana. We got Kutch on a Bowman Gold. We got, yep, the Bowman Gold here from 2002. We got Bedard here on the uh, Tops Gold again. <laughs> Casey McGee, very unmemorable one with the Pirates, but just saw it. He has a private signing coming up, and that being the Tops Gold. Make that the Tops update goal. That, that's actually rather, rather tempting to send out. Alex Presley was all right. Nate McLeod had one really good season. Gold Glove and All-Star at the Pirates. James McDonald. McDonald. Jared Hughes on the... You gave me a bunch of golds, dude. Did you, like, go to a show and buy out all the golds and look for... Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Jared Hughes. I really liked Jared Hughes. He was so solid out of the Pirates bullpen for those really important seasons back oops, back when the Pirates were contending for the playoffs from so this is from 2012, which is right before their 13, 14, and 15 playoff runs, but um and he was a super nice guy too. I loved how he just spread out of the bullpen. Ah, good stuff. There's James McDonald again. These are all gold versions. Garrett G.I. Jones, very nice. Evan Meek, I first foul ball I ever caught. He pitched to Austin Kearns, one hopper. Had my glove with me, easy life. Good thing I had my glove with me. Joel Hanrahan, uh-huh. I believe he was in two All-Star games for the Pirates. Oh, whoa. Okay, wait, wait. This has to come out of the... Uh, Top loaders and penny sleeves. So we got the Jackie Robinson in the background. Andrew McCutcheon, Relic. So weird not to call it Jersey, but whatever. Um, 26 out of 99 from National Treasures. Back in 2015. Wow. That's really cool. So this game used material from Jackie Robinson Day. Okay. That's a really cool card. Dang, that's a cool card for multiple reasons here. At least you can see some of the Pirates colors there. I can at least see a little bit of black and gold there with the band with the cross on it there. Um, very nice. Wow. Um, okay, well, Larry, thank you for the autograph cards. Tony Black, thank you for the vintage Dick Schofield cards. And Project 88 TGM, Mark, I hope, you know, you can get back and work on your set whenever the time is right. And thank you. Links to all three channels will be in the description below. Dang, this card community is amazing. Thank you, everybody. I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Monday, an autograph or indoor trading card video on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I really would appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.